I have always loved biking. Um, I think that the first time that um, I went mountain biking was a significant experience. Um, I went with my friend Dominic Barner, and I had my bike from, it was a, a graduation present for graduating from the eighth grade and going into high school. So I got my first mountain bike from them. Cool. And uh, it, was, uh, it was really cool, like being able to tackle terrain on a bicycle that hadn't really, I'd never really done before. So that was kind of a significant experience, being able to go into the forest and kind of getting lost for an hour and feeling like I was in a different world. Um, and I think another kind of significant experience was also when I got my first road bike. It was with my own money. And then I, I bought it and just the feeling of speed going down the bike paths and, and being able to just like zip along at like just, just the, the flick of a, the flick of a kind of a pedal stroke, you know, it was kind of amazing. So that was like a really good feeling, feeling the wind in my hair and being able to go really fast. Um, and then I think the last kind of significant experience that really solidified it was when my friend found a bike in a tree. And it was just this old single speed bike and didn't really, didn't really have much going on with it. It was like spray painted red, but uh, I pulled it out and my friend was like, just, you know, do whatever you want with it. And I was like, okay. And so I remember pulling out my dad's tools and working on his garage floor, and I just had bearings everywhere. And I repacked the bearings, and I figured it all out. And he was kind of telling me how to how to get the bearings right. And uh, I got it, and it was just such a feeling of like I pulled something completely apart and I put it all back together. And I was like, yes. And it's just like this really good feeling of uh, really good feeling of working on something for the first time and like really completing something. And and it has such a satisfying feeling. And I knew that. I wanted to continue that and kind of fought, like chase that addiction of whatever feeling that, that kind of gave me. Um, so like of those three experiences, I think that the combination kind of everything really got me into what like the cyclist I am today. And uh, yeah, from there it was really just about finding my first bike shop job and I went in every weekend for six months asking for a job and uh, they finally gave one to me and it's been smooth sailing from there, <laughs> as it were. I had been working in bike shops for a long time, and there was the flock party, the before classes had started, I was a transfer student, and I made a beeline for wherever the bikes were. I was like, I know there's a bike mechanic thing on campus, I've heard about it, and so I walked right up to Margaret, our director, and uh, I introduced myself and I was like, hi, I love working on bikes, so I need to work here. So if you ever have any openings, let me know, and like, when can I drop off a resume? So um, that, was, that was kind of the, it was, a, it was a good moment. And then to this day, Margaret still remembers my enthusiasm of like me walking up to me and just being like, hi, I love bikes. And it was really funny. <laughs> she just like totally, like just totally stuck out to her. Like she doesn't really remember anything specific from that day, but she definitely remembers that. And it was just kind of like one of those things that she kind of knew. She was like, oh, this guy's stoked. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I was never a mechanic at my first one. Um, my first actual mechanic job was in Wheelworks in Eugene. And um, that was, uh, that was a definitely a different experience because they expected a lot more of me. And so at that point, I was, I was building bikes for them and then um, doing a lot more of kind of like specific repair for them as well. And um, it really ramped up kind of like my knowledge. You know, I was able to ask those questions and really workshop what I, where my weak points were and kind of things like that. Um, and then at the OP, I had this kind of great knowledge base of salesman kind of knowledge. So being able to like talk practically about to someone about bikes, and also like this really kind of deep vocabulary about bikes. So I could like I could really go both sides of the equation in terms of like the user and then like the manufacturer. You know, kind of the extreme ends. Um, and so when I came to the OP, I, I felt like I kind of had a lot to give to students and like allow them to be kind of empowered and uh, ride their own bikes with confidence, being able to get a flat without freaking out and not knowing what to do. So,
What's up, dude? Oh.
Think of Siamese twins, some Argentines without me. A little more writing, audio. 